what is going on YouTube, it's your boy Billy Kibaki and in today's video I will be upgrading my HP EliteBook 8470P. Yes, I know it's an old laptop but this laptop goes everywhere with me so I can do stuff on the go. Okay, so it comes with a 500 gigabyte um, hard drive but for some reason the laptop start to move really slow so I decided to do a upgrade so I'm going to upgrade it to a 120 um, SSD hard drive and this is 2.5 in size all the laptops use 2.5 in size so you can actually do this yourself guys as long as you know where to locate the hard drive that you're going to replace in the laptop as long as you can find that hard drive in the laptop you can do this yourself if it's too hard to find then give it to somebody else to do it for you also I have a USB stick with the Windows 10 that I will be installing back on this hard drive okay so guys right here I have my cell phone and I'm just gonna do a boot comparison time with the original 500 gigabyte and after I switch it over to the SSD I'm gonna do a time um, boot as well so I'm just gonna press start and power on the laptop at the same time okay guys so as you can see it took around four minutes for the laptop to finally boot and it's not even a hundred percent boot because you can see that it's still loading some stuff so I'm just going to go ahead and turn the laptop off. Yeah, it's definitely not booted as yet because it's still loading up stuff. So hopefully the SSD will make the laptop load a lot faster. So there you go guys four minutes so let's go ahead and start the process so close your laptop down make sure that you remove the power cable turn the laptop over and with this laptop you should know how to remove your laptop battery by now so with this laptop I'm just gonna push that up and remove the battery and to remove the back piece right here all I have to do is push this down and it's gonna pop right off okay so right down here is where the hard drive is so just push your finger underneath this thing this clip pull it up and you're gonna have um screw right here screw up here and also a screw in the back so just take your time and remove those screws okay once you remove those screws pop the hard drive back way and as you can see the hard drive comes right out in the hard drive tray so let's set the laptop aside and we will need to um, take the hard drive out of the hard drive tray and as you can see we have some um, screw right here and a screw around here so once you have all the screws out just go ahead and lift the hard drive up and that's it um, I'm gonna put this as you can see it says 500 right there so I'm just gonna put this in a enclosure and use it for something else okay so here's the SSD okay perfect Okay, so this this should um, make the laptop boot a lot faster guys so make sure that you remember how the hard drive was and you replace it the same way okay that was it so let's go ahead and put the screws back in okay so once you have your hard drive um, screwed back in what we need to do now is plug it back in the laptop Okay, so go ahead and open this little door okay 
So let's place it back the same way how we got it out. And let's push it forward. As you can see, everything went in place. So let's take our screwdriver and put those screws back in. Okay, make sure that it's firmly seated by just testing it. Close the door. Once you close the door, you want to put the, the casing back on the back of it. Push it up and close that clip. Get your battery. Slide it back in. Close the clip again. Plug your power cable back in if it's needed. Open up the laptop and now we are going to um, install the windows. Press the power button. Okay, so from right here I'm just going to choose the options and stuff okay not sure if you guys can see that but there it is I'm just gonna click on new click apply click OK okay now we're just gonna press next and let the computer install the windows okay guys so the laptop has finished installing the new windows 10 so what i'm going to do now is going to show you that the hard drive space there you go let me try and focus Hope you guys can see that. So I have 99.8 gigabyte free from the 120 um, SSD. Okay, so let's go ahead and restart the laptop. Let's shut it down. And we're gonna do a boot test again. Let's do a time test again. So as you can see, the last test was four minutes and the laptop wasn't even completed um, booting 100% so four minutes for the first time using this hard drive so let's see what the SSD time is so let's go ahead press power and start at the same time And there we go we still have that little loading icon but it's gone now so I'm just gonna stop it right there so guys as you can see big 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 improvement um, let's call it let's call it uh, 22 seconds then um, you can say 20 seconds or 22 because it started up at like 20 seconds right but I let it run like two more seconds just for the circle to stop load. But as you can see guys, huge difference comparing this hard drive, 500 gig, to the SSD, the 120 SSD. So definitely upgrade guys. If you have a laptop using old, using older hard drive, definitely invest into a SSD proof that the speed the boot speed is a 10 times faster than the old hard drive so guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs up also share the video guys and also you can subscribe for more video to come thanks for watching and i will see you in my next video